Hello everyone, my name is Jerry BR and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. So this is immediately after we just faced Director Clavel. Um, so now we're going to wait out and see if Cassiopeia will appear if I just run in and out of this building. I'm hoping that'll switch it to nighttime. All right. Now we just need to find them. They said in the schoolyard, but I'm not sure where exactly that would be. Because I was expecting them out front, like how... Um, but I don't... Come to the academy, the darkest. Wait, is there like an actual battle? Like, place for to battle? I don't know what I'm. What word I'm wanting? Schoolyard. Oh, <gasps> it's Penny. Jaeger, bruh. <gasps> it was her. Thanks for coming. <laughs> I was. M this must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia. They were both me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you into helping me out. Before the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit, and I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me and putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown. Are you ready? Thanks. <gasps> Clive! Sorry to keep you. Letter of apology. Miss Time had me, er, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. That voice. Are you Clive? Penny. So it was you after all. I, I no, I mean, is that you, Cassiopeia? In the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive. I want you to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. They need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. O okay, will do. Man, I didn't know we had a schoolyard. Oh, it has a track. And allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. My name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Now bow down before the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. I won't lie, I am kind of afraid. Because I can only assume that this is going to be harder than... Ah, oh, shit, an Umbreon? I won't hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Shit. Oh. Can't use this. Um, so, fill dick. Yeah. It's my only option. Please tell me... Umbreon was level 60. Okay, that's not bad damage wise. Okay, 62. Ah, shoot, it gets to go first again? Twenty will heal me full. But if he's gonna, 
Penny will get two attacks in before I can attack again. So I won't be in a much better spot, but hopefully... 40 H... 20 HP. Hopefully that helps. Actually, no, I guess I would have been down another 40. So I'm up, like, 60. Alright, oh! <gasps> She's an all EV trainer. Uh, Flareon is what she said, right? I know I thought about sending Dread Dragon out, so I hope it was Flareon. Oh my god. I am so happy for that she has only EVs and evolutions. So the question is, does she have the original three? Umbreon and Espeon from Gen 2. I think ground, yeah. And does she have an Eevee then, or does she have something else? Hmm. I've never faced a Jolteon. Or a Flareon. Oh, but speed fell, so maybe I can go first this turn. Nope! That was a fast Jolteon. Alright. A Vaporeon to... I wish Phil Dick wasn't hurt, but... Pump, this should. Ooh, 87 damage. I'm glad no one else chooses potions or items. Ah, man, again? That's a lot of damage. Ah, and she gets to go first? Well, at least I shouldn't need Phil Dick anymore. Oh, I really wants to learn Overheat. Harshly lowers special attack stat. Uh, no thanks. Oh, a Leafeon! Because it's probably an SP on last. I guess if I don't terrestrialize, I have a stab bonus. Oh, a Sylveon. Can't fault you on your battle skills at all. One of the bosses fell at your hands. Torch song. I wonder if she's also gonna probably just terrestrialize. Shine bright like the starry sky and become who you really want to be. Yeah, plus I can only assume it's gonna stay a fairy. Yeah. Okay, good. Oh, 
Shadow Ball. Glad I'm only a fire type right now. One more torch song. This should end it. Yeah, it was easier than Director Clavel or Arvin. You defeated Penny. It's all over now. It's finally over, guys. It's done. Poor Team Star. We're done here. I think we should call it quits. Oh, this is the old one. Hold up. Are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We got carried away with Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard, make a show of learning them some manners. But we didn't even fight them in the end. We didn't do anything wrong. Indeed, merely did we declare our intentions to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist. In their tyrannous oppression. It was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon. They just blubbered and apologized a whole lot of... Our outfits must have spooked them good. But the bullies made a huge stink about what went down. Then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired. Epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. Yeah, I guess you're right. So the stunt might have put us up the creek. I'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. Uh, what are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star. I dragged you all into this, so I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh, no one. Kind, big boss. We cannot. Now that the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah? And what about you? I can't go back. Why? There's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is, thanks. Even though we never met person, you were also kind to me. Stop right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Prithi, speak to us. What is thine intent? Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye bye, guys. Thanks for everything. Man, so dramatic. Thanks for everything, Yagerbra. Yeah, and you too, Clive. Glad I could see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star. And me too. Hold that thought, Miss uh, Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why well, resort to something like Operation Starfall? If you're the big boss of Team Star, wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the bosses that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? Our code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. I could ask them all to do stuff, but I could never order them. So it's back to the code once again. The bosses must have taken it very seriously. They did. That's why I knew I could use it to force the team started disband. Because the bosses would do anything the code required of them, even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge made to them. Thus, the idea for Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What is Team Star? No, what do your friends in the team mean to you? They're... They're my greatest treasure. Splendid. Thank you for apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. What? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. Hey, quit it with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed, well then, before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Ha <laughs> ha! Director Clavel! Just as Capio see how was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But, but why? 
I needed a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students do tend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. Yeah, but where do I even start? Wasn't that outfit a bit much? Plus, I have some big feelings about that wig. Uh, well, that's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? Everyone else from... Team Star. Huh? Yo, big boss. Long time no see. Momo. More like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Verily is thy long hidden continence a sight for sore eyes, my lady. Atticus. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. Have you been this... How have you been this whole time? Ordy. Found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Airy. How old was Ortega when this all started? How old was he 18 months ago? Okay, gang. Count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia. And hello, Penny. Nothing, Miss Penny, and each of you young bosses as well. We have the Academy. I have something I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again? As director of the Academy, I let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. What? I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star, about your subsequent actions. Since my first days as director, all I've ever experienced at the Academy is an environment blessed free from bullying. I now know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger, and of course your immense courage in putting things to right. So I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband, my threat to expel those who did not obey, are hereby revoked. Does that mean what I think it means? Indeed, Team Star can continue to exist should that be your wish. Woohoo, Penny! Isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh, mine heart is giddy with glee. But, but, I betrayed all of you. You mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. As far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You're just worried about us, right? Not like we'd ever chuck the team just because someone told us to, after all. Ain't our style. I cannot even begin to imagine how you must have feared for us, Lady Penny. Sorry for making you worry, BB. We're all okay now. But even so... Hold on, everyone. I have more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. Me to provide a few examples. Your protracted truancy, your brazen customization of school uniforms, your unauthorized usage of academy equipment, your reckless modification and jeopardous driving of Pokemon powered vehicles. Yeah, go on. Your flagrant disregard for school rules simply cannot be overlooked. Please expel them. Plus, this punishment. You will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yes, specifically I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for... Star Training Centers. Should be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. Plan for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. And he came to me when I saw Master Yerber battling his way through your bases. The base's construction, as well as the battle tactics employed by the students in Team Star. Remarkably unique and creative. I ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. And that is the sum of it. Does anyone have any concerns? Um, no, sounds like fun. I don't see how this would be anything but a win-win. 
This may be a weird thing to say since STCs are supposed to be a punishment and all, but you should totally join in too, Penny. Tis true, we would most happily have you at our side, my lady. We go to school together too, though if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. We're already talking about how great it'd be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. <laughs> Nerd. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys. Here, bro, what do you think? Oh, I think it sounds great. Huh, but, but, um, I just... No need to give your response right this moment, Miss Penny. Do take some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Ah, not to say you should break up Team Star, after all. Simply meant it's time to leave. <laughs> Mr. Yerba, please stop by my office later, if you would. Wait, why am I back home now? Wait. Oh, wait, this is my apartment. Uh, where is the director's office? I just remembered that this new season Pokemon won't have Ash in it. Is that a Pokeball I can grab? Uh, I guess not. I wonder if it's a placeholder. Like that's where the menu pops up. Ha, huh, here you are, Master Yerba. I want to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. Not for you, I suspect I would have gone, done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Knock, knock, knock. Who is it? Um, it's Penny. Ah, Miss Penny, do come in. H Hello, Director. About the STCs, I'd like to work on them together with the rest of Team Star. It's wonderful, Nurse. Thank you very much for your favorable response. But, um... I, I should be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall? No, not that. Because of the other really bad thing I did. What would that be? Come on. Um, you know the LPI gave you both in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? Please tell me they're stolen. I got hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. Ah, I see. That is quite the revelation. I did not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that I mean, I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. <sighs> this matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. I have to consult Miss Gita, the Pokemon League chairwoman, how best to proceed. I figured as much. Do apologize, Mr. Yerba, but I will have to ask you to give us some more privacy. Okay. But that is that wrapped up. Oh yeah, see there's a Pokeball at the base of my door. Wow, that's... Funny way to... I don't... I'm surprised that I'm just noticing this. Like, does everything have this? I don't know if there's any doorways from this show. Good evening, what class would you like to take? Um, I guess we'll do the home ec ones. With Mr. Sadguro. As we begin soon, don't be tardy. Oh, I forgot about this guy. For where are your phones? It's just time to begin class. My last class I taught about HP restoration. However, after class, I was asked by several of you about power points, commonly known as PP. When Pokemon loses all of its HP, it faints and can no longer battle. What then happens to a Pokemon when it loses all of its PP? <laughs> um, it can't use moves. Well, it can struggle. Perfectly correct, my Shira. Perhaps you know this from first-hand experience? When Pokemon runs out of PP, it can no longer use its moves. However, each move has its own store of PP, so you can mitigate PP loss by using a variety of moves, rather than just one move repeatedly. 
Pokemon loses all PP for all of its moves. It will only be able to use Struggle. Actually, that also damages the Pokemon that uses it. Or to avoid this predicament, PP can be restored at Pokemon Stars along with HP. Items such as Ethers and Max Ethers can also be used to restore PP. Be careful not to confuse potions with Ethers in the heat of battle. However, Ethers are not sold at shops, so you should use them judiciously if you find them. The stronger the move, the lower its maximum PP. Do not waste use of these moves unless you wish to quickly run out of PP. It's important to find balance in a Pokemon set of moves. As you can see, HP is the only thing you must keep an eye on while adventuring with Pokemon. But you will take care to ensure that your partner Pokemon can perform at their best. So you engage, each engage in the treasure hunt. Time together has come to an end for today. Next meeting will be an examination day. Be sure to review well in preparation. Alright, so we got a midterm. And then we at least are caught up with midterms for these classes. curious what the lessons will be. Questions, I guess. Time has come to test how well you all have learned here in my class. Let's begin before this information simmering in your brains from a last minute cram session fades. Which is not an effect of a picnic meal. Increasing speed? The following affects the kinds of meal powers received from particular meal. Filling these comments? Uh, I think it's just filling it. Which of these can restore Pokemon's HP? An Orin Berry? Leandro wanted his Pokemon to decide on its own when to use the item of battle, so he gave it an Aaron Bori. This will work as he hopes. Yeah! He'll use it when the HP gets low. When it runs out of PP, it can no longer be used. Pokemon runs out of PP. For all its move, it can only sit there in frustration. False. Time for answering questions has come to an end. Please stop writing. I hope you were all able to give the examination everything you had. Please remember to ask for your scores at the front desk. Alright. Moment of truth. Did we pass? Did I pass Pokemon Home Act? Five out of five. Success. Alright. Alright. So I think we're at a good spot for right now. And uh, mm, I don't really So it would seem the only thing currently left to do is to take on the Elite Four, I guess. But that is a job left for next time. So thank you guys. Yeah, your bro. Penny, there's something I want to talk to you about. Would you come meet me in front of the school stairs, you know, where we first met? I'll be waiting. Well, I still have a little bit of time, so... Still a V star. Six of us thought up that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know. Anyway, about the LP thing, I thought I was going down big time for hacking the league point system. They're letting me off easy. That's great. Pokemon Leaves said they'll waive my debt and do some volunteer engineering for them. Even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Director Clavel and that Gita lady kept complimenting me, like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. I'm still not so great with people face to face. Never seem to find the right words, but um... Th thank you so much. You saved Team Star, and my friends along with it. I know words 
won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. I was gonna say, if she gives me more LP, but Draco Meteor is an awesome move. Comets are summoned down from the sky on target. The recoil from smooth lowers the user's special attack. Ah, oh, damn. I'm sure you'll put this to good use. One more thing. I want to repay the debt I owe you. If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. So next time, I'll be the one helping you, Jagerbro. Be seeing you then. Hasta la V-Star. Wow. Ooh, she's taking up those steps like a champ. That's right, I forgot I didn't get a complete thing here. Alright. So that is two down. And just one thing left to go. Hmm, how do I get there? I think that's a tunnel there. But... Well, we'll find that out next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.